Good morning, it's David Wiegener here from Christchurch, New Zealand and um, I bring you chess on YouTube daily and I share it on Twitter. The date is the 28th of July 2017. It's a Saturday. It's quarter past 11. Okay, so AM. So here we go uh, with um, today's game and I hope you enjoy it. Okay. So how are you going, Kiwi? Ah, oh, I'm okay, Dave. Um, let's get on with it. Yeah, okay, I will soon. But I'll just say hello to you all. And Pingy, how are you going? Yeah, yeah, get on with it. Get on with it. Quick, quick. And there's um, Kiwi Honey Bear, New Zealand Kiwi Honey Bee Bear. Up there on the thing. He's watching too. And over there is Dog from Foot Rock Flats. Okay. Yeah, hurry up, Dave, and get the game going, please, because I want to watch the game and I don't want to hear you talking all the time. Boy, you guys are cheeky today. What is it about the, the Saturday the 28th today? What is it with that? I don't know. Anyway, here we go then. Without further ado. Yeah, Dave, hurry up. Get it over. Get it on. Get it on. I don't understand what you guys are all upset about. Anyway, here's the game today. Is was played yesterday, 27th of July on chess.com. Five minute blitz game. Germany is white, New Zealand are the All Blacks. They are, of course. Here we go again. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. See if white plays this move. I don't play this because then, and I don't play this either because um, black would um, have um, pawns like this after it. So it wouldn't be very good. Although it would stop the knight from coming into e5. Maybe that might be one of my variations soon. But if knight here then I just merely play knight there and then soon thereafter I want to have castled c6 new mainline you should know that yeah Dave the computer should know that it's a computer after all it should know that this is the next move is bishop e2 boy you're observant Kiwi that's right you are you're very observant bishop e2 now it looks like I'm scared of that move but I'm not c6 because it stops the knight going there of course now because I just chomp it and it'll be Germany naught New Zealand won. Not, 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 but I haven't told you the score yet, the, the actual result. See, I'm not allowed on this side of the board, though I've been told straight away to move away. So I do, I go back to knight d6. Now I play g5. Now, it's interesting, I've seen um, Magnus Carlsen play much the same, but I actually make what they call a mistake, is I get f4 here. Um, they reckon it's not the best, but I, I, I quite like it. Now I can put this bishop out to a good spot. The bishop's nice there. Bishop d3. And I ignore taking that, I just go bishop d6, bishop f6 I mean, 
Patient F5, Knight F5, G4, Knight D6, Knight A4, B6. Not entirely the way I want things to go. I remember this player played there. Knights around the board. <coughs> Rook E8. Knight E2. See, we're moving the knights a lot, I've noticed. I noticed the knights were being moved around a lot. So that some people, including myself, would probably say, well, you've just given up your black square bishop David and you've just opened up all these pawns here so your, your king is going to have a little bit of difficulty which it does from my taking the the, the pawn the the knight and the pawn with my black squared bishop <coughs> Now you might say these movies moves are easy to find. They might be, that's correct. Here's my hotel on E3 people, ladies and gentlemen. That's my hotel on E3 square. So if I try to move that square it won't let me move it, but that's there lies my hotel on E3. I could just literally put that rock in there. C5, almost literally put it in there. C5, D4, Knight C4, Bishop C1. I'm not interested in taking your Bishop, sir, ma'am, computer or whoever. I'm not interested, there's a lot of computers on there though, that's for sure. There are computers because otherwise they would be high rated. So people have got their computers on there and that's what's been confirmed to me as well. I've, uh, I'm not interested in taking this bishop even if I can, or even the pawn. I'm only interested in flicking my knight in there because it's a nice place for my knight. So knight c4, bishop c1, knight e3. Now threatens this as well as the rook of course which I probably wouldn't even take it because my knight is so beautiful there now they take it I can't you know there's no logic in it no Dave there's no log there's no what's that word now no logic Dave no logic at all I know there's no logic at all I know I know I know there's no logic. Queen E1. Now look at um, White's position. Look, this pawn is an anchor in White's camp. You do not get that in the French opening of the French chess variation. You do not get in the French a pawn on E3, let alone a pawn on F4. You do not get it. It's not. But I get it all the time with my system. Knight c6. Knight c3. Knight d4. I might as well. White wants to cover up this hot um, place a little bit. Fair enough. Book c1. Queen d7. Knight e4, knight f3. Well, I think, well, I'm going to pick up a pawn here, aren't I? Rook f3, now rook e4, and white resigned. Now, it's probably fair enough, because now I'm threatening this. So 
so what has to defend it the only real way to defend it that is proper is h3 okay so we'll just play on from here basically we'll just go rook here and then we can go rook here and if this rook moves back we can just attack this pawn formation here so white resigned but so where do you get in um in the french i know because i've played it a lot i've played it since i've been about 17 16 years old 14 i think 15 as i used to watch um the the otago champion um back then he would always play it and also one of my friends would play it um from the same age as that of mine um my friend would play it at the otago chess club so i started to get a bit interested in it against e4 okay well that's the end of my session and the weather today is has been raining yesterday in Christchurch and today it is somewhat um, sunny with infrequent amounts of rain and and that sort of thing so so where do you get a pawn on e3 and now on f4 now okay and they're both past pawns and they're protected and connected and everything like that so these pawns if this pawn starts whacking away at this then this can merely defend it whereas white would have opportunities later on to um to infiltrate to white black's king if this pawn's on h6 to start checking it as often happens okay that's the end of the session i hope you enjoyed it uh now the time is 11 30 a.m ish so it's good thank you